Why don't you stay back there and take your time? Stand here and scout the area. We're getting pretty far out. Huh? Get pretty far out. Pete Nell, your limb shadow should be about 110 feet. Okay. I'm looking for... I, I'm dying to find out what this mound is over here anyhow, Al. Got a very peculiar mound sticking up out of the ground, Houston. I want to go look at it. As a matter of fact, I think I'll take a picture of it. Here, my... <laughs> look at how that limb is. Roger, Pete. Could you give us your uh, position and uh, distance with respect to the limb? Wait one. Go ahead, Pete. Do what you're doing. Pete's about, uh, I guess, about 300 feet at 12 o'clock. He's at the bottom of a shallow crater that you probably see on your map. It's sort of a doublet. Yep. Uh, I'm headed to the right-hand edge of the head crater. Roger. Hey, Al, here's a neat spot to put it out up here. Is it flat for a good piece? Oh, well, you better believe it. Okay, let's go ahead. It's a good long ways away, too. It must be at least, uh, what, 500 feet from the limb? I don't know. 600? That's the world's most peculiar. I got a photograph of this thing. I can't imagine what it is. The mound sticking up, and I can't imagine how it got there or what would make it. Cover the ground on this lightweight. This is it, 160. Let me move. i got to get him a stereo of this thing. It's really fantastic. Oops. <coughs> How's our timeline going, Houston? Pete, uh, at 1 plus 4, 8. Yeah, so you're, you're, the world. you're uh, looking good. Looking as though you're right on there if you've uh, just about completed your covers. Yeah. Over here. We're way out from the limb. Over here, Al. Okay, see where I'm headed? This great big flat area. That's a good... Hey, there's another one of those mounds over there. Where? Hey, you're right. What do you suppose they are? I don't know. You said what they are. They're a, this sort of mound. Look like... Don't take this the wrong way. It looks like a small volcano only. It's just about four feet high. And it's about... At the top, it's about five feet across. And it uh, then slopes from the top on down to the uh, level with the terrain. And that, that diameter, that circle where it finally becomes level with the terrain is about 15 or 20 feet. So it looks sort of like a, uh, a small volcano. There's a couple of them out here. They look like they were formerly made out of bread or something. Al, Roger, we copy. Is there any uh, hole or central vent? <laughs> I don't know. I've got, I got to go over. We'll, we'll, we'll go over and over after we get the outside out. There's a couple up here. Wait a minute. This is us. We couldn't ask for a better spot to put this in. No, it's nice. Hey, there's a lot more rocks up here. Listen, there's like we could play geologist for two days and never get any further than we are right now. Seen all different kinds of things. It is a different one. Yeah, it's really neat. Better than any of your jobs in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. <laughs> I'm just getting a quick pan of the area here to tie down this house up deployment. There you go. Okay. There's a lot. Tired? No, oh, not so tired. That handles, you know, when you carry this thing around at 1G. The, the the uh, alpha tends to hang down. But you carry it around up here 160, and particularly the uh, RTG tends to rotate in the whole pallet. So you minutes you've got one of them kind of halfway uh, up in the air, the other one's down by your left leg, and you keep being afraid that this handle's going to come on there. You know, the handle doesn't rock. Okay. Half dollars. <laughs> That's slick. You know these neat little decals we got on here? Mm -hmm. You can't hardly read them in the sunlight because they don't have enough contrast to them. They're so bright. Okay, let's move them. Okay. Let me make sure now that we're not...
not going to run out to some holes. That's pretty good. Pete, I'm going to move this a little bit further to the east, or pressure to the north, so that I won't end up over in that hole with a side, okay? <laughs> and I think it'll be a real good spot. Yeah, tear that thing. Let me hold it. 
I got away. I got it. And a boy. Now, wait well, just a minute. Those cables. Yeah, but let me get it plugged in. It's just flare around under this one six G, don't you? Just move around a bunch. Where's the orange stripe? Watch it, watch it. Where's the orange stripe? Should be. Same as on that other one. Obviously, it's on the side I can't see.
Yes. Okay. Can't see 
your needle anywhere. Can you, Al? Let me see it. Let me help you. Are they sweating you? So it's covered with dust? Deep now at uh, oh. two hours and seven minutes into the EVA, you're about five minutes behind. for the mag for the uh, seismometers, Houston, is I sort of dug a little crater so that the uh, essentially the, the uh, stool, uh, the hole in the center of the stool has uh, is de is de has uh, more clearance between it and the in the ground. Hopefully, this will keep the side from uh, getting in the uh, ground at all. like it might work. I tamped it also in the in the small uh, crater there. Okay. Can I get the uh, solar wind deployed here? Don't touch that. 
that. I got up with one boy, bold off it. She really lifted Ruth with it. Huh? I'm going to have you do it that way. No, it's got one boy, bold out of that magnetometer. Okay, okay. Go ahead. What we're doing is making a mess. You'd be better off. Let me, listen. You just leave, leave a step. Let me hold that. You put that stool back here closer. Okay, okay. Am I over all the cables? Don't, don't come across. 